The old mansion loomed in the moonlight like a hulking forgotten sentinel. The trees surrounding it clawed at the sky, their twisted branches casting eerie shadows across the dilapidated facade. Jessica, a teenager desperate for some quick cash, had been hired to babysit for the night in this ancient, unsettling house. The child she was tasked with watching, Emily, was a solemn and mysterious figure. Her porcelain skin was almost translucent, and her dark eyes seemed to harbor secrets beyond her years. Her silence was unsettling, her only comfort found in her ragged old doll. As the evening settled in, Jessica tried to engage Emily in conversation, but the girl's responses were cryptic at best. She spoke of strange dreams and whispered about a presence that lurked in the darkest corners of the house. When the clock struck midnight, a chilling wind swept through the mansion. The air grew heavy with foreboding, and Jessica began to sense a malevolent presence, one that was far from childlike. She decided to explore the house, hoping to dispel her unease. In the dimly lit corridors, she stumbled upon an old, dust-covered journal. Its brittle pages revealed the mansion's dark history, detailing a series of disappearances and unexplained deaths that had plagued the house for centuries. It spoke of a malevolent spirit, an entity that demanded sacrifice to appease its insatiable hunger. Fear gnawed at Jessica's insides as she connected the dots. Emily was no ordinary child, and the mansion was a vessel for the sinister force that had haunted it for generations. Panicking, Jessica rushed back to the room where she had left Emily. The girl was gone, her doll discarded on the floor. Panic tightened around her chest as she heard Emily's eerie laughter echoing through the house. She followed the sound, descending into the basement, the heart of the mansion's darkness. There, she found Emily standing before an ancient, grotesque altar, a sinister glint in her eyes. The malevolent entity had possessed the child, and it demanded a sacrifice. Jessica's heart pounded in her chest as she realized that her life was in jeopardy. The entity whispered through Emily's mouth a chilling, otherworldly voice. You are the offering, Jessica. You have come to me just as the others did. With a surge of courage, Jessica reached into her pocket, her trembling hand clutching a small vial of holy water. She flung it at Emily, the water sizzling on her skin. The girl screamed, and the entity's grip weakened. Desperation fueled Jessica as she recited a prayer of exorcism, the words cutting through the darkness. The malevolent spirit writhed in pain, struggling to maintain control over Emily. Jessica's faith clashed with the ancient evil, a battle of light against darkness. In a final desperate cry, the entity was banished, forced to release its hold on Emily. The girl fell to the ground, gasping for air her eyes once again filled with innocence and fear. Jessica gathered Emily into her arms, tears of relief streaming down her face. The old mansion seemed to sigh in response, its malevolence dissipating like a vanquished demon. It was finally at peace. As dawn broke, Jessica left the mansion, the weight of its dark secret now lifted. She had fought against evil that night, a battle she would never forget. The old house would forever be marked by the dark history it harbored, but she had emerged victorious, with the knowledge that courage and faith could conquer even the most ancient and sinister of forces.